everyone, welcome to Pop Culture Spread. My name is Rick, this fine specimen of a man next to me is Jason. Um, we are very excited here today because we are launching a brand new show. This brand new? Brand new show. This is a weekly show that, uh, basically the concept of the show is that we, we got a lot we want to talk about. Uh, and we post a lot on our uh, social media page, especially our Facebook page. So we oh, want yeah. a lot that we want to talk about. So we just pick some of the, the stories that we want to talk about and we want to present it to you guys. We want to share it with you guys. Absolutely. So, I mean, we, we, we do our trailer reactions and we do our reviews, but we don't get a chance. We don't, no. And, we, and we've tried it out a couple of times on the channel before, haven't we, Rick? Really but we really reckon we've got it this no, time. We really do. This will be a weekly show and it will yep. be launched on a Sunday at 7 o'clock. Guaranteed Sunday at 7 p.m. It'll be on our Facebook page, our YouTube, YouTube channel. So get on it, guys. But before we start, before we get into it, guys, what are we guys going to do? If you like this video and you like what you see, Give us a subscribe for our channel. Also give us a thumbs up for the video as well. And look, you're gonna see everything popping up here, so follow our social media sites. It's easy and simple as that, guys. Beauty. All right, Jason, let's get into it. The first uh, thing we wanna talk about, look, we went and saw this movie, The Joker. Oh, yes. Big, big movie. Uh, the headline that uh, comes from Movie Web, problem site, Movie Web, Joker launches Oscar campaign. Has it got a real good shot for being best picture? Oh, oh, that's a good bloody question, Rick. Really. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, the movie is, Mate, it's a fucking great movie, Rick. It is. We loved it. I mean, without it. doubt, it's 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 got to be one of the films of the year. Oh, like in a year of Definitely. Avengers Endgame, like Joker has almost surpassed it in its brilliance, um, and that's a huge call. I don't know, man. I mean, like it's still early on in Oscar season. I like, surely it's got a fucking shot. It's got to have a shot. Oh, come on. We all know how good Joaquin was, and it's Joaquin. Really or what game? We already know how good he was. Look, I, I think it might have a shot. All right, personally, I think it would. But, you know, hey, why don't run these Man, things? Who knows? So the who Academy knows? is, there is one thing that the Academy is consistent about, and that's being it's, it's having its putting, own head up, <laughs> its own ass. That's right, and not putting anything in that's comic book related. Yeah. I wonder they have won titles, but Black not. Black Panther got nominated yeah, for Best Picture, remember? But that's did. only of recent times. That's right. But they but, win others for yeah. the score and everything else. Yeah. So nothing major picture Special all effects, that. all that shit. So yeah. But yeah, we'll look, we'll be keen to see if it does. Uh, I know. Uh, at the end of the day, The Joker is a great film. If you haven't seen The Joker, well, what the fuck you been doing? Let's Go see the fucking Joker. Get on it. Anyway, uh, what's next? Guys, look, uh, another one from Movie World as well. Big news, we know that uh, Disney is launching their streaming uh, two weeks. very two weeks, and I know you're very excited, Jace, because oh. Star Wars and... Mandalorian! And, uh, Mandalorian. <laughs> but, and there's obviously a lot more streaming and a lot more competition out there. HBO Max have set their May 2020 launch date. HBO, I haven't even heard of this! Oh, I haven't heard HBO of it either. HBO Max, so they are... They so they're big shows. They're, they're going into the streaming market. They are going into the streaming market, and they're going to launch in 2020 yep. for $14.99 a month. Oh, actually, it's quite expensive. You know, the well, uh, Disney one's only eight bucks a month. Or that's something. right. So, but they got some primo shit. HBO. They do. They have some really good shows, um, and I believe they've actually you'll see a list of the shows that they've actually um, launched, which is really really good. Oh, I can imagine. I mean, you know, you can go all the way back to Sopranos. I bet that's you. That's what I mean. That's is right. Sopranos on there. That's a HBO show. The Deadwood would be on there. Yep. All that great All stuff. All that stuff would be yeah, on there. Yeah, so no. I'm, I'm, yeah, definitely keen for HBO, that. HBO, man. There's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff on streaming. Um, but one of the big shows, which is going to be announced, that was announced on that, and this comes from comicbook.com, uh, mm -hmm. is DC announces the new Green Lantern HBO Max series. Wow. Excited about this. Wow. Green Lantern coming to the world of streaming. You Makes thought sense, that? probably, you know. I mean, look, Green Lantern, man, I... I I've always said, man, it's fucking hard to make Green Lantern into a good movie. Because yeah. the universe is so vast and complex. Maybe a streaming show. Oh, but it all comes down to cast. That, well, I would right. like to see Green Lantern core. Yep. Like to see, you know, multiple yep. Green Lanterns. And they'd probably do that this year. They're they? expecting this to be one of the this biggest. Huge? The big, The big show that they're going to release. I'd on. heard, and you may be able to confirm <laughs> it, it was the guy that... Was, uh, Run all the CW stuff. Greg Belanti, I reckon. Yep. Yes. Yes, Greg Belanti. Yep. Yeah. So Man, look what that. he's done. I mean, look. To be honest with you, all of his CW shows are they're good shows. I like the Flash. I like. I, I enjoy Flash. Yeah. They do. I like some of that stuff. They sometimes they go too cheesy for me, but they must be doing something because Flash has lasted what their sixth season at the moment. Arrow's gone into. Well, they're, they're seventh season. season. So yeah, they're done. This is their yeah, final so, season. 
Look, I yeah, yeah. I think hey, look, good, you know, you know, you can't make that cheap either. I mean, no. If you're making that, no. a lot of money is going to be especially Green on Lantern. That. There's going to be a lot of that. In I'm there. good with that. I'm so good with that. that Fuck is... it, why not? Can't be anything worse than Ryan Reynolds pumped out in 2011. Really? Can't. No, you love that show. No, no, no. I mean, no, <laughs> that movie. That movie sucked no. balls. And no. so actually, no, I love that movie for one reason only. Eventually, he'll get dead from pain. So, so well, fun. that's what. Yeah. But oh. another HBO, big HBO. Fucking, it is all HBO. Streaming. It is all HBO. This comes from TVWeb.com. Game of Thrones prequel starring Naomi Watts is officially dead at HBO. This was huge, this is huge. dude. This Massive huge. news. Because they, they went all in on a pilot with Naomi Watts and an stellar cast to go with her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, HBO execs looked at her and went, it's shit. We don't want it. We're not it. doing it. We're yeah. not doing it. But then fucking, when they announced that, start? Two hours later, dude, they announced another show, HBO prequel show, that went straight to series. Right. So, they've watched the pilot, they've spent millions of dollars on a pilot, and they've gone, nah, fuck that off. And then they've gone two hours later and gone, nah, we're going to grab this, I think it's Queen of Dragons or something they're calling it, or Dragons. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, And that's gone straight to series. So, but why? I mean... We all know how oh, they, Game of It's a Hollywood was. man. All Hollywood does is grab intellectual property and squeeze every last living it's drop out of it. A lot of fans are disappointed about this. There's a big uproar about it. Oh, yeah, well. You know, you know what man. you do. Still going on HBO. I mean, Fucking these guys are, we, are still... Are you being paid by HBO? Really? <laughs> this one comes from film.com. Uh, HBO Watchmen. Oh, slash so film.com. Sorry, slash no? film, sorry. Um, yeah, HBO's Watchmen. Demonstrates the right way to remix a classic. Mate, Mate I tell you, this guys. is an early review. You may, you probably, I don't think you've seen it yet. No. But I have personally seen the oh, first yeah? two episodes what do you think? of this HBO Watchmen series. It's exceptional. Oh. It's exceptional. There you go. It's one of my favourite shows of the year. It it's exceptional. And, and it's a sequel series to the graphic novel. Mm. So I say that specifically because it follows plot lines from the graphic novel, which wasn't in the film. Which they changed for the film version. Um, but man, it's like, well, what happened in The Watchmen was set in 1985. What is the world like now 35 years later? And we get to see that world. And I'm telling you, I don't want to start thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Fuck, it is it's good. Fun. It is good. Got to get on it. If you're not seeing it, there big, are, big there are ways it. and means of, get, of obtaining it. Uh, how I find out about it is I have someone in America just tell me scene by scene. <laughs> so play by play. Nah, <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, yeah, get, like, if you can get a hold of the show, and if you're a fan of, of Watchmen, oh, all, I would be surprised if you'd be disappointed. Okay. And it takes the whole series in a, in a way that you wouldn't have thought of. So okay. No, I'm right. down. First two episodes. From Jace. There you go, guys. Amazing. Get on it. Um, the last story we want to cover, and I, a bit of a lighter heart note, but there's uh, some uproar with some fans of Supernatural. This one comes out of comicbook.com. Fans react to Supernatural star Jared Pilecki yeah. arrest. He got arrested. Oh, Big he, Sam Winchester. Had a bit too many of these, mate. I've Woo, and, uh, yeah, gotten a bit of a punch up with the he bartender. Yeah. He punched the bartender right in the fucking head. He struck had a bartender some other dude in, in the, the head face. Lock. Yeah. As the cops were turning up. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually tickled pink. So he was, yeah. <laughs> so he apparently was saying he struck the bartender in the face while yeah. inside a venue, as well as potentially hitting the general manager. Oh right. my god, what? You Must know. have been pretty bad customer service. I mean, like. This is a guy that has faced demons, <laughs> he probably thought faced he angels, <laughs> probably been, been killed a few a times. times. Anything that could happen to you in a supernatural world has happened to this man. So you can't blame he's him if he gets not, drunk and punches off. He's not a small fella, he's a big guy. Yeah, yeah. So, but, mate, you know what this story tells me? I'm actually happy with it because everybody's human. Everybody well, that's makes right. bad Everyone mistakes. makes mistakes. You know he'd be completely remorseful for about it now. But, but also he may not give a shit because... He is. After 13, 14 seasons of Supernatural, how much money has that dude got, you think, at this point? And how much money will he draw upon Supernatural for the rest of his existence? Because that show will be in reruns for years. Well, yeah, uh, well anyway. that's true. But we're saying, yeah, most of the fans are good old support. fashioned bad behaviour by celebrity. It is I say, I salute is. you, Jared Kalecki. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Keep oh. it going. <laughs> so, but that's it, guys. That's the show. 
Um, this is all the stories that we wanted to talk about. If you want to follow all the other stories that we've got, you know, follow our Facebook page, guys. Yeah, um, absolutely. Easy as that, guys. But, mate, to end the show, we're going to head over to Jason. We've got a brand new segment. A new segment, the Jason Wise, which is Jason's Movie Vault. All right, Jason's Movie Vault. So basically what I'm going to do is... You know, a lot of you guys out there are probably a little bit younger than us. Well, it's probably younger than me because I'm old as fuck. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to dig deep in this brain of mine and pull out movies that I love and give me a bit of a recommendation. Mm. And I think, you know what? We're going to go some weird dark corners, people. We really are. But not this week. We're going to start it off slow. And my easy recommendation into it, easy into it. is the Bill Murray classic. Mm -hmm. Stripes. Oh, nice. John Candy. Stripes. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, a lot of people, when they think of Bill Murray, they think of Ghostbusters. Caddyshack. They think of Caddyshack. They think of that type of film, Groundhog Day. Yeah. But I think a lot of people sometimes forget how amazing Stripes was. Directed um, by Harold Ramis. Starring Harold yeah, right. Ramis. Yep. So Harold Ramis, Bill Murray. Bill Murray plays Jeff Wing, a, a, a taxi driver where everything goes wrong, so he decides to join the army. There he comes yeah, across a well strange bunch of characters. The film has gone down over the years as a comedy classic for good reasons. Because even in 2019, that film is fucking funny. It is. It is if you haven't seen that movie, all over other comedy, do any large ensemble <laughs> comedy, it comes from, it's all inspired from Stripes. That's right. And some of the classic scenes are in oh, that. Oh, what a scenes. cast, mate. I mean, you're talking about even a young Sean Young was in it. You've got John Candy, John Larrakin. Yeah. Remember John Larrakin? Oh, yeah. He was absolutely he was fantastic. Yellow. You've got, um, who else is there? That amazing, Judge Reinhold's in it. Yep. From Beverly Hills Cop. Mate, you even have a small role Bill Paxton hiding in there. An unnamed soldier. Was he? I'm absolutely. But look, that movie works because I it's it. just really funny. It's about them going through boot camp and going on their first assignment. It was a huge comedy classic. But did you know, Rick, that that film eventually, initially, that is the word, was supposed to be a Cheech and Chong movie? Cheech and Chong? It was written oh! as a Cheech and Chong movie. How right was, uh, they, sorry, the writers wrote for that. They wanted yeah. to make a Cheech and Chong movie. Um, Cheech, Cheech and Chong, Chong wanted creative controls that didn't work out and eventually turned into Stripes. Stripes. So Harold Ramis got Bill Murray on board and the rest is comedy history. Mate, I love it. I love this the, film, uh... I think, I judge you based on your love and dislike of this film. I'll be honest with you. If you don't think this film is funny, don't listen to my recommendations of the films coming up because, mate, this is a comedy classic. So each week, guys, I'm going to introduce you a new film. And I hopefully, if you haven't seen it, great, you can watch it and then let us know what you think about it. And if you have seen it, you've got good memories, of course, we're going to want to hear about that too. So check that's out. my recommendation for the week, Rick. Also, check out our uh, retro trailer on Stripes because we have done that. We do, we do, we have done that. Check that out because it's a ripper, guys. Fantastic. Well, that's it for me, Rick. And that's it for me. So we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next week, salute.